Oh, hey, RC enthusiasts. I was just trying to fix my hair. Too bad you caught me on a bad hair day, but we're going to do another tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn this with the basic black grips into something a little bit more stylish with the orange grips that we now offer for the DX and IX line of transmitters. It's super simple, but I felt like we needed a video to help walk you guys through it. And I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks along the way. One thing you're going to need is a heat gun. The Hangar 9 heat gun is a great tool to have for this sort of thing. And you're going to use that to heat up the rubber and the adhesive underneath the padding. And another tool that I like to recommend is just something like a soft plastic piece that you might have. I like to use an old prop that I have laying around to get underneath the corners and pry up the old grip. So let's get down to the bench and get started. All right, so as you see, we have everything we need right in front of us here. This is the grip set, and it does come with the extra adhesive if you choose to use that. Just pull that off. Open it up. And we have all the orange grips for the DX7, which we are uh, putting the grips on here. This guy's a little worn out. Uh, it's actually seen some time in the sun, so the grips have shrunken a little bit. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and change it out. So let's get rid of all this trash. And to get the adhesive off, I like to use a heat gun on a low setting to get it to loosen up. And then we'll use our handy dandy prop here to peel it off if our fingers aren't able to get it off. So let's put it on low. And while you're doing this, just uh, make sure you're not like hitting the screen too much because it can loosen the adhesive on other parts of the radio, but it's not gonna damage the plastic if you are careful. So. so I'm just gonna do nice, even strokes and I'm using the flat tip, as you can see here, on it. Nice even strokes, like that, around the side, up and down, until I feel like it's nice and warm to the touch. All right, seems like it's pretty warm. And if you can't get your fingernails under there, that's why I got this for it. It's nice and soft plastic, so it's not going to cause it to scratch the face of the radio. And as you're pulling it away, you can heat it up a little bit more to get the adhesive to pull away. And we'll pull it off. can be kind of a messy job, so be prepared for that. So all this old adhesive that's still here, you can heat it up and roll it away, scrape it off with a plastic scraper like I've got here, and get rid of the excess. So let's do that. You get it nice and hot, sometimes you can just roll it right off. It might feel a little uncomfortable on your finger, but it seems to work pretty well. And just pull it off like that. And then around the edges, you can use your, your plastic tool to get the last little bits. I wouldn't recommend using any kind of compound because we don't know what it'll do to the plastic. There is a coating on the plastic that could get damaged, so I wouldn't use anything that would damage the plastic. But heat seems to do just fine on it. I 
Okay, I think I've got it pretty clean. Um, you might take like an alcohol pad and wipe it down to get the oils from your skin off of there. There we go. Okay, it looks like the 3M side is gonna go out like that. We'll peel the back off. Gently roll it on, making sure we got a nice lineup of it. Notice that there's these little rubber dimples, right? Those are to go into these alignment holes here. So I usually just kind of push them in. Uh, you could even heat up the plastic a little bit or the rubber to make it a bit more malleable. Start from the back and work our way forward. Another good thing is to have a pointy tool to be able to guide these little dimple pins in, right? That's good. I'm gonna push it around the scroll wheel here. All right, feels like it's got a nice tight bond. So that's one side done. Let's get the rest done. So sometimes you guys will notice that, uh, and like me, if you're a little lazy and you don't feel like rolling all the rest of this off, if it's one that doesn't have, you know, any flat spots like these front ones, where there's a flat, large flat area that needs to be replaced, we'll go ahead and just reuse that adhesive. See, sometimes just applying a little bit of heat to it We'll get it nice and sticky. And then make sure when you use the back ones or if there's any kind of a tongue slot, so we'll see there's a little slot there for a tongue. I will go ahead and put the tongue in first and roll it towards the top or towards the adjacent opposite side. All right, keep going. One left. Two hours later. And there you have it. With a little bit of time and elbow grease, you have rejuvenated the beauty in your Spectrum transmitter and given it a new little bit of pizzazz with the orange grip set for your Spectrum transmitters. This is for the DX radios like the DX7 that we have here, the DX6, and the DX9, as well as the iX12, and the iX20 actually comes with its own orange grip, so if you guys wanna follow along in this video to help you replace those, you can. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button for us. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them in the comments below, or if you have any questions, feel free to message us directly on the Spectrum Facebook page. And if you want to see more Spectrum tutorials and awesome videos, go ahead and subscribe to the Spectrum YouTube channel. This is Tom and Tom's Hands signing off on this video. Thanks for watching and happy flying.